Yeah, okay, that, that makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I don't want to really be thinking about my custody agreement while I'm in the hospital. You know, I'm on disability and all that. Um, but yeah, go ahead, read me the list of places that we could possibly meet at. I don't even know when I'm getting out of this hospital. Your wife said that she's willing to leave the house because of a restraining order, uh, so you could have your supervised visits at her house, but you're saying you don't want to have them there, that's fine. I told her this as well. If this is the case, then you guys have to settle upon a um, neutral setting, okay? Um, and, I, and I've compiled a list of places that we could potentially have those supervised visits at. Um, I appreciate all the work that you did in trying to find places that are neutral because of this stupid restraining order. But um, I don't know, meeting my son in the library for custody, it was already kind of um, demoralizing to meet him for supervised visits. Now I gotta sit in like the, the, the peaceful library and that just makes it even more cold. Well, we have our designated facilities where you can meet your son. Um, those are a little bit farther from the both of you, so I don't recommend those. Um, obviously public places like coffee shops, uh, public parks. Um, a very popular place with our agency is the library. Um, that's, that's always a great place to have supervised visits if you're interested in that. Well, look, I don't really see why they're, you know, I'm the disabled one. I don't see why the supervised visits can't take place at my house. You know, I don't see any rules against that. How about we do that? I um, really don't see your ex-wife going for that. It doesn't seem like the... Um, option that would be most comfortable for everyone but um it's on the table you just can't have any guests in your home if we were to do it there no oh, i really don't have any friends my mom's institutionalized um that i won't have any guests it's it's about me and my son i'm going through enough i'm not looking to have a party okay all right i will pass this information along to miranda thank you miranda I feel like this might be a stupid question that I already know the answer to, but do you still want to do the pregnancy announcement? Of course. I was actually going to ask you the same. I've been looking forward to it. You know, I can't remember the last time I had a pregnancy announcement that didn't have, like, controversy attached to it. The only reason I asked is because I know every time you make a move and every time you even breathe, your ex-husband has a problem with it, his family has a problem with it, and I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Not my ex-husband's baby. You know, he can think whatever he wants. It has nothing to do with him. It's honestly none of his business. And I have him blocked on everything. Plus, he's in a hospital, so. Oh, true. I'm sure he still finds a way to stalk all your social media profiles from there. But there's also his mother, who, um, I don't know. I know you guys have been getting along. And I know she's institutionalized right now, but. Still worry about her too. You just said it yourself though. Um, she's institutionalized. But also, again, not her grandchild. Nothing to do with her, so I don't really care. All right, I was just checking. So I guess if you and me are on the same page, you passed 12 weeks, you wanted to pass 12 weeks, baby's healthy, I guess you can post it. All right, I've been waiting for this. Here we go. The world knows. Hey Chelsea, could you do me a favor and just hand me my phone? Thank you.